Yo, episode 219. We made a podcast. We made a podcast. Uh, 219. Yeah, we're not going to start over. Um, off top, if your Willy Bobo don't work, please turn this off right now. Um, episode 219. <laughs> we made a podcast. Good episode. You guys take care. We'll see you guys on <laughs> twitch.tv slash we made it seas. Um, Make sure you go follow C's youtube.com slash we made it seas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going to uh the land of Alex Jones and he's gonna be I'm doing gonna go stuff. reverse the vaccine ruling they did. I mean the, the reverse the abortion decision. I'm gonna go fight for the rights out in Texas. He's um, gonna go find the person that punched Danny from Real World Austin in the eye. <laughs> eye. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take a selfie just just for the group chat, right where he got his mess rocked on the floor outside that bar in Austin. Yes, him and Wes were there, and uh, Danny got his shit rocked. He definitely got it pummeled. <laughs> he got a one hitter quitter, broke his orbital. Never forget that. Broke I remember it. they took him to the hospital. I was like, I don't know why you're gonna be claiming this on TV. Your face broke, and, and you're kind of giving this man even more love right now. I wasn't like. How could he? I was like, damn, dog, you got mega cracked. You also, got cracked so hard that you went to the hospital for it. This dude probably at the crib like. Well, also, he was on the ground, though. He wasn't. He was, It wasn't a fair shot. I yeah. fine. It wasn't fair. But, you but also, cracked. Danny did go to 12, too. He did. He did tell the policia, which is like, if you're a bar fighter, don't be telling the policia after. And you're from Massachusetts. Like, come on. Don't you about it. Yeah, you feel me? I'm going anyway, to ask, ask Aaron Hernandez about him. <laughs> okay in the grave um yeah Caesar's going out there soon to be filming some more from Vita I would hope um yeah, or maybe he got some shorty out there who knows um but you know he'll be bringing the Willie Bobo out there and, and, and getting it cracking um uh, <laughs> Bobo work though hey man hey. actually okay you know what too well <laughs> okay anyway we got a really short episode today um if you couldn't tell we're going to be talking a little bit about Rio Ferdinand going to talk about racism online. Um, and then we're going to talk about the proposed every two year World Cup. And then we're also going to talk about a little bit about the Caesars homie, who he does look a little bit like Weston McConan. Um, <laughs> Fuck. I mean, y'all don't look alike, but y'all got the same shaped head, though. We do. This is true. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Caesar. Um, What's the name? Apparently, uh, yeah, recently, one of your uh, favorite former players, uh, Rio Ferdinand, uh, who is named after a uh, river, a, a cartoon movie about also, a, bull. a Spanish conquistador. Go ahead. Um, well, a Spanish king, and also um, a, a, a animated film about a bull. Um, also, a character in Smite. Go ahead. Named after all those people. Mm-hmm. Um, he came out and talked about racism on social media. Obviously, we've we have the solution for racism in stadiums, but there is a big issue with uh, racism on social media le- towards uh, football players. He talked a lot about how people are putting monkey emojis and different things. Um, um, I guess they're uh, talking about some online safety bill out there in the UK that could help tackle racist abuse online um, amongst other things. But um, we've talked about this a little bit, but um, off top, like, what do you think that could, they could actually do to try to tackle racial abuse online other than just super policing these people's um, accounts? I mean, the only real alternative is I think you, Obviously, there's always going to be racism, but I already think that there should be automatic words that cause automatic like bans. I know there's ones that take a little bit, but like I think any variations of words that use um, automatically get your account suspended for five days, such as any kind of racial slurs or any kind of uh, symbols or terminology that's used. You should put like they should. I know they have coding for it, but if like let's say a series of words is used in a sentence, um, they should put that tweet under flag and then under review and if it takes a while that's your fault for writing that out then maybe don't write that out then and then automatically just uh do bans or or or, or 30 day suspensions on accounts that use any kind of racial slurs immediately i think that's the best case to go 
because on like please because no matter what you do you're never going to be able to prevent someone from speaking something right like yeah what people say and what they manifest their mind is more a root issue and where they were raised the culture surrounding it the environment and you can't prevent things from manifesting, but you can take measures to not let things spread. I think the spread of it is the worst part, you know, like, so I think that's the only course of action you could take and also allow maybe, maybe making more verification steps for these bot accounts, not just making an easy email jump in, like requiring more than just a phone number. Cause now people just make a Google account and you can keep randomizing phone numbers on Google voice. And you can just get a new phone number every day if you wanted to. So um, you, you got to make a more in-depth verification process. A lot. Of, I know this sounds funny, but a, for a lot of dating apps, they require you to take a selfie with like holding up, like they make you take a selfie for verification. They should do something like that for these accounts. You want to come up back and funny. We got you. You got your whole damn selfie on the client account now. I mean, I'm just saying this because if you could, if they have that for dating apps, People have even more conversations on social media. Maybe it require that. And if you're not comfortable, then don't be on social media. And I think that solves it in itself. That that roots out, that separates the people, that, that divides some people to get out. I think that's some measures you could take because we're already showing, or there's people out there showing that they can't be allowed to have room and space for freedoms. Like they can't handle it because they abuse others with the freedom. And freedom isn't meant to be given to abuse others. That's not the point of it. Okay, well, I knew Caesar liked a big brother, but I didn't know he supported big brother. Big time. I'm big time big brother. <laughs> Caesar trying to be spying on everybody. Give me all your info. Caesar like, well, if you didn't do nothing wrong, then why well, we all care? know Bam's the serial boo, uh, monkey chant enforce uh, supporter. So it doesn't even matter what I say. We all know where this man stands. Here's the left and there's the right let me play this voicemail of your ass. <laughs> oh, okay hey. uh, what's the name um yeah i know i honestly i like everything you're saying like i think the the selfies for social media accounts like i didn't even know they were doing that for dating apps but i mean if that if that was to be implemented like you know i you, wouldn't you... love i wouldn't love it for myself but i don't but like it's not that it's not the end of the world, you know, and it's like, like I say, you, how many people have Instagram, they have their face already online, like, we can stop this myth that your identity is our secretive or whatever. There's people that tag you in pictures, you're online somewhere, probably unless you're really off the grid, yeah. you're off the grid, then you then you, you, know, you wouldn't be allowed care. to make a bot account and drop racial slurs, then you this doesn't matter to you, right? You're off the grid. Mm -hmm. You're not on social media anyway. So it's applicable to those who want to take the necessary steps to be on there. And yeah. if you want to take the necessary steps to be online and you're using that to harass people and you get to be anonymous while they're completely exposed to the world, that's not fair. That's not a fair situation. Yeah. I mean, I just think this it's going to be, t I, obviously I don't know what it's like for these social media companies, but you know, for if the social media companies aren't going to do anything, then maybe like, I mean, you know, why don't like, you know, Marcus Rashford could just like hire somebody to be like, hey, dude, like on my post, go look to see if there's anything racist and then just report all those accounts. You know what I'm saying? Just or, pay, some, or, just pay or somebody there's... a couple racks a week. You know what I'm saying? But, but, I mean, I'm, I'm down. Bam is just, Bam just kind of a big time socialist. I can respect it. I mean, to Bam the, trying to create more jobs for the people. And I, I love that. I, I'm, yeah. I'm in support of that movement. The rappers be hiring dudes, people to roll their blunts. Like, you know what I'm saying? I agree. Um, but also, I think that if we had the first thing I proposed solved, then you would never have to do this. If you had some kind of coding or some kind of system that already vetted words before they're sent to someone, such as if you play like, for example, like um, I forgot what it is. Maybe it's Discord or something. You can actually uh, mute words like yeah. uh, you can use chatbot and Twitch to mute words from ever being used. So the minute that word is dropped in there, it's gone. But you can't do that on Twitter. You, you can or you, Instagram. You can, you can mute words on Twitter, and if they're still getting through, that that's because those accounts, of course, you allow them, and also because you're not, you don't have a vetting process for accounts to be able to say that in general. I don't think you should be allowed to say that at all. Instead of us having to mute words from coming in, why don't you just mute it all across a platform? Why is this word allowed to be said on a platform? You know, but I, um, I remember seeing some person uh, on Twitter talking about like 
they should get rid of the uh, gorilla emoji or the monkey emojis. That's uh, and, 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 and that so like that one was like and, and I responded to him saying like you know some of these guys use that gorilla emoji to like say that they're strong or whatever. Yeah. I, so so that's a little tough, but I don't know. It's gonna it's tough with social media because I know these social media platforms like want to have a semblance of free speech. Um, it's not exactly the First Amendment, obviously, but they want to they want to be kind of close to that um, for financial reasons. So it ends up kind of being a double edged sword for the you know famous people that hop online and then they get abused racially. Um, but I, I don't really see the social media platforms bending to that, at least in America. You know, maybe maybe in like the UK and different places that have yeah. that don't have a First Amendment, they would. But um, you know, I'm just like, well, damn, why don't you just hire somebody? Give them, give them a few racks. You know, if you make 150 racks a week, slide somebody two racks to uh, to police your social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just sucks that once again, like they have to the the athletes have to take all these measures and steps and financial burdens to make their experience more enjoyable for for the public when it's individuals going about it ruining this with just a very much a real lack of verification security and in and, and any kind of protection online it's honestly easier for this these corporations the, the the social media like twitter and facebook to implement software to prevent this than it is for someone to go hire some dude two g's a week to do it it would it's a it's a swift code for them they can do in a heartbeat well i mean we don't know that for sure, though. It, it is for sure. Well, it well, is. Okay, okay. For, that, some that, words, that for some words, for some words, is readily available for me to download for free to put in my Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I but can that's do diff- it easily on a, a multi-billion-dollar company could do in a heartbeat on Twitter. Uh, yeah, and I would imagine for some words, for sure, like hard R, Kiko, and you know, different words, like for sure. But you know, if somebody puts a nog, like that's kind of hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I agree. I mean, I think you can do extension- agree what extensive words like that and put it in a vetting process you could vet those words you can make that account but somebody you somebody has to report that like somebody has to see like yeah but you can add just words you can just oh i think we're i think i think twitch has plenty of money and insight to be able to know how to add words and slang that's coming up in in different languages to know what words are becoming uh it's not it's not like well, some hidden secret uh rate these terms like well, i'm sorry well, like I, well it's it's mostly they're talking about instagram and twitter though yeah i know they are but Okay, let's say you said you said this is the word nog, right? Like you're what saying what does that, that mean? You just said that. So that's not like the number one word you see when like someone when a when a player posts a picture. That's yeah. an anomaly. So I don't think that's affecting the guy. What's affecting him is the consistency of similar words over and over, a word that's blasted all the time. That's different. You can you can hit main points and focus down the trigger more. Like that's different. But I, I just think that like there are steps that these companies can do their their multi-billion dollar corporations that have every power to protect people if they want to they just don't want to and that's the problem i'm tired of us going to the government to try to fix this problem i'm tired of people uh, saying oh they should just do this and this this yeah i muted trump on my twitter account a long time ago i muted kanye but i still see them though so it's not always just me and i'm just not a perfect example but i'm saying like I still see stuff from them, but let's say if it was a racial slur, I'm muted and I still saw it. I know that they could do extra steps to prevent me from seeing it in the first place. Why have to be me all the time? I mean, post snap sees is turned up, but I know it's post snap sees is that bed looking real made back there. It's real made. Yeah, that's post snap sees. Uh, <laughs> I didn't nap. Okay, sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's tough and it's just yeah, like it's tough discussion. And, and, and even because different countries have different laws. So like mm-hmm. something that might be acceptable there legally is not accepted here or is accepted here and it's not accepted there. So, yeah. you know, I, you know, they did those Instagram blackouts or whatever. I guess that would be the only way to really do something is to affect the bottom line of Mark, Mark Zuckerberg or somebody like that or Jack Dorsey. Then they might do something. But, you know, if people are still going to be slaves to social media, then like, what are we going to do here, man? Um, Honestly. Dude, let's just all come to FDS. But anyway, also, since we're trying to keep this short, even though it's post snap sees turned up. Um, Caesar, what do you think about the every two year World Cup? That's a terrible idea. I don't want to see that. Get that out of my face. OK, I agree with you. But how about this one, though? 
How about every two years? Okay, how about this? Okay, there's a World Cup, and then there's usually the next year. There will like the, the next summer there will be a Euro and a Copa America, maybe. How about we have in between the World Cup, in between the World Cups, uh, Interfederation Cup, like AFC Con Con Confederation Cup. No, not no, not not like that. Not where is all the different confederations and um, federations, but like a condom bowl versus uh, UEFA or AFC versus CONCACAF or Oceania versus uh caracom or i don't know like you know what do you what do you think about that i don't know if i really like it okay because you're racist i don't hate it i just don't know if i like it that much because i i always personally like the confederation cup i don't know why it's it doesn't seem to be as popular i always liked it a lot i think it's cool it's a fun world cup preview it's a mini I think world cup I think they timeline it bad though. They always make it a year before the World Cup. And I'm like, yeah. that's the dumbest timeline. Like, you need to give people something in the middle. It should be that should be every two years. Make that every two years. We don't, people don't care about the accolades on that. I think World Cup accolades are more important, like in terms of past winners. And it's kind of unfair to make it shorter for past winners stuff. Like, new records are going to be able to be broken that are unfair to the past one that they had every four years in the past. I don't think that's very fair. Um, so I think that uh, maybe uh, uh, adjusting, get rid of Nations League ASAP, please. I don't see yeah. that anymore. Yeah. But make like Confederation or rename it, rebrand it, make it something more appealing, and do something like that every two years. But not the World Cup. We don't need to have the World Cup like that. No, the World this Cup is, is this is just an attempt to 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 increase this stupid money, the oil money that's shilled out to the FIFA to make more money. And then there's more people that are basically slaves working for the, to build these, these projects in a timeline. And then it comes under scrutiny and only people that pay in the end of it are the, are the actual people they pay at the end. Like the economies don't boom after the world cups. They don't boom after the world cup. They boom for that one month. And then it's over after that. So I don't think that's the best thing to do. I think every four years is, has, has that appeal to it that yearn, that desire. And then when it, I don't know, it's, it's special. It's something special knowing that like, it sounds messed up. Like when Falcon wasn't able to go to the 2014 uh, 14 World Cup, in a way that was so unique. Cause you're like, damn, imagine if he was able to go with that team and he wasn't able to. And it's like, that sucks. But that's just like how it is. It's every four years, man. Like it's just, it is what it is. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to like change that for real. Well, Caesar, we both already agreed that, that the world cup every two years is bad. What do you think about my f interfederation cup? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't you don't want to see condom bowl lose to UEFA. What, what, how does that, is it a tournament? Yeah. It's like a, it's a, it's a tournament. Just so like top eight condom bowl versus top eight uh, UEFA. I don't know. Something like that. I mean, they're getting routed, but I'm down. Okay, see, now you're you down. because I cause, upside the head. Because I said Conombo losing, now you're down. Yeah, now, I mean, we got a proof, so we can get it cracking. Yeah. Who are you going to put in there, Slovenia? They can get decimated all day. Let's go. I mean, yeah. yeah I think playing they... this at, though? Huh? Where are those games happening? Is it alternating every year? I don't every know. Every two years? I don't shampoo for it. No, they, it should alternate. Like, one year, it's one, well, one, well, one, well, one, well, one every two years. One of the time it's in it's in in Common Bowl, the other time it's in UEFA. Just alternate it. I think that it should be like we're talking about long term. So like we already know what the 2030 World Cup is going to be. I'm saying like it, what is this going to be 2022 World Cup, 2023 or something? It's UEFA versus Condom Bowl. Then 2025, it's uh after. Excuse me, it's AFC versus uh, the African Federation. Oh, it just changes all the time? Yeah, it's just, yeah. And like over the years, we go through the different uh, ones. Instead I don't think it's going to work because, like, what, what, how's the order work? It's, on, it's an uneven number, right? I don't know. You can, you can include like um, seven, I think. You can seven. include, you can include Oceana with AFC or something. Yeah, racist. Um, yeah. Well, you want to so. see Tonga play? Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> Confed Cup game ever was Tahiti versus uh, 
versus Spain, and they lost nineteen to zero. It was so fun. I remember Australia. Beat, they had three uh, cousins on the team. It was three three fam up in there. I remember Australia beat a Samoa like twenty two zero or something like that. I remember when that game happened. Brazil played Spain next and beat them like four one. And then the Brazilian players were like, "That's for Tahiti." <laughs> it's like there we go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, well, okay, so we both agree that the World Cup every two years is whack, and then you now agree that the Interfederational Cup is cool. So, Caesar, uh, let's uh, talk about sure. what? Let's talk about your third cousin, uh, Winston Willie Bobo uh, McConan McKenzie. Uh, uh, your boys out here got in trouble. Landon Donovan came out talking about him. All kinds of people talking about him. I don't even know what he did. He, well, he I do. COVID, he broke COVID protocol. I think he went to like a party somewhere at Tennessee, but, and he also brought some chick into the bubble. Like, are, are we sure he brought a woman into the bubble? Yeah, yeah, because he's suspended for the whole thing. But is that why? Like, okay, well, that we don't know that. that so, do you know for sure? Yeah, he did. Caesar, you're so capped. I don't know why he did. Okay, okay. He did. Um, okay, so he brought a, a young I'm lady. not trying to snitch on him. He could have not did it. Uh, I ain't trying to okay. wait, wait, but I'm saying I've seen that rumor, but is do we know that he did that? Yeah, because the, the announcement was that he he brought an individual from okay. outside the bubble into the thing. Maybe it could have been a dude. It was shorty. Uh so, anyways, um, which is better? Um, anyways, uh don't be breaking COVID protocol just to bring your boy over. What the hell? Well, I was like, thinking, oh, maybe, you better I, wait. I was thinking that it could have been also been in a sexual nature with the guy. You said it's better that it's a woman. No, I didn't mean it that way. And I tried okay, to trap well, me, canceled. Buster. You're We're on the same team here. I go yeah. down, you go down, okay? You're canceled. You're canceled. We're both down. Because <laughs> they out here giving jobs to the, the football players for for and football, for soccer coverage. And and you, we made it get no love in the streets. Not even a little bit. Like, I must be nice. I guess they got money to throw on again. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, um, I, it's obviously, I think it's very stupid. Um. Like, I hate to be that guy that's like, you know, like, I'm not trying to be like Alexi Lalas, like, you know, like that dude. But you know what we got going on here? Like, everybody's making the same sacrifice, you feel me? So it's like, when put, when he do things like that, it makes it like, okay, like, I'm taking this if I'm a player. And then you can give me your perspective after. If I'm on a national team and I find out one of my best players, McKenzie, is out for the whole tournament. And I got rough games. I got to go a game in Honduras. I got some tough games coming up. I'm going to be feel some type of way because I know I had to sacrifice this time here and you couldn't hold it in and you had to do that. Like, that sucks because you put yourself over the team. Be- and I, I that's why I think it's really whack. I think it's a lapse in judgment, but I'm not going to sit here and get to be destroying him online. Like, it's just a lapse in judgment. It's whack. He, he, should, he the reprim, the reprimanding should come from his teammates having to talk with them, and then we move on from there. Like it's, it, I don't think it, it needs to be any more than that. Like you already know how you feel when you disappoint your teammates, and it can go from there, and he can live with that and deal with that in a different way. But to go online and start destroying him, I'm like, relax. I know what you're trying to do now because yeah. you, you're attacking. You know, just just chill a little bit. Okay, back up a little bit. Also, it's USA Men's National. It ain't that serious, dog. They didn't even make the whole damn last World Cup, dog. We're talking about a team that didn't even make the World Cup last year. It's not even like they're that good. Um, didn't they just you, lose last b- before the Honduras game too? I don't they know. actually weren't even in above the promotion line for the qualifiers. They were actually mm-hmm. below the line. They just, but they did thrash Honduras. They they demolished them. Um, well, yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a bad idea that he did that. Like it's it's dumb. I it's think dumb. that what probably happened though is that somebody else did it and didn't get caught and then he did it and somebody probably told on him okay i'm gonna disagree with that this time because he's one of the more senior players on the team this team is really weird i wish you saw this lineup it was yeah but caesar you got some tellers on there I know, but he has. It's, he's a. He's one of the senior members of the team. I think he's named as one of the four caps or something like that. He's one yeah, of the, the he, senior members. So there's no one really above him. There's no Lennon Donovan's. He is one Caesar, of the best. Caesar, Caesar, they had but, an 18 year old striker. They had a bunch of okay. damn youngins on there. But, but Caesar, ain't nobody he, else he's, getting away on that team. Okay, but Caesar, you got 
you know what type of players the U.S. men's national team got, though? The two biggest players no, no, on the okay, team are who? Him not, okay, and, but I'm, and Pulisic, right? I'm not right? saying I'm not saying from that regard. We're talking, you're talking about like who's the best players, but McConan is black, and you got some players on that team that have some questionable views about things. I think we could agree on that. I agree. So I what I think probably. He wasn't the only one that did it, but they're going to see him doing it and be like, nah, because of his skin color. I'm down, but I got no, one counterpoint. Not. I got one counterpoint. Okay, let's go. He played in Italy. I feel like he, I feel like he was wilding. So, nah, dog. I, okay, I, I think you come not... around, think you do what you want. Okay, but so. this is also a thing, too, because I've been hearing that. Like, the, the two things I listened to about it, they said, like, oh, you know, he had issues in Italy and had issues in China. I'm like, what issues? Like, what are they talking about? He got in trouble a few times in Italy, Look, too. He got he got benched for disciplinary reasons out there, too. So, I mean, but, like, I don't know what it is. So, like, it's hard for me to, like... Okay, but but, but at but, the same time, if you got in trouble for discipline... Not saying I don't know what the context is. Yeah. You got in trouble for disciplinary reasons. I don't hear other... I don't hear Ronaldo getting that trouble. Yeah, but... He, but, he but, gets in trouble for disciplinary reasons at Juve. He gets to the national team... He makes a dumb decision that causes a disciplinary action. Okay, but Caesar, these, that's more to go off than your than the one you're going off, which I'm down for. But that's that's well, more. You're kind of you're kind of being anti-black, but I get it. You got the new the light. Light's really bright. Yeah, exactly. You got the new light. But here's the, here, my cousin. Like, I know him. But 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 when I hear disciplinary issues, like what do, what do you do? Because you know why. Mateo Guendouzi got into a altercation with some dude from Brighton Hove and was like, they were going at it. And Arteta was so mad that Guendouzi had a fight with a player that he basically suspended him for the rest of the season and then shipped him out. Like, dude, he got into a fight with the opposing team's player. Why is that a reason to like, like you're, you're probably yelling at him. Like, why'd you do that? Why'd you do it? Because I was mad. Other teams, we fight each other sometimes. So I don't know what McConan did to make it be like, oh, you know, he had issues. I don't know. Maybe the coach is an asshole and maybe no. McConan, you know, we don't know what it is. And also I agree with that because it's Italy. Maybe there's also a language barrier too. So he can't like properly defend himself. In, Who in knows how they're too. talking yeah. to him out there. Somebody yeah. might've disrespected him and he said, don't be talking to me. I, like okay. That. I can agree with that. I agree with your you point. Know? You know, so I don't like when I hear, oh, he had some issues. I need to know what it is on paper because one, he's American. So they already got a thing with him and he's black. So they're probably going to have another thing with him. Yeah. But this time, yeah, that's your fault. You got caught up bringing somebody up into the room or whatever. It was a bad decision. I would imagine that somebody else did it too, but he just got caught and he probably would tell it. Oh, damn dog. Like, don't tell, don't tell. No, I ain't going to tell. And then they probably told on his ass. Um, and 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 that's what it was because you got some squares on the U.S. men's national team. You got some squares. I absolutely agree with that a thousand percent. I'm not disagreeing. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not I mean, saying that my point is 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 set in stone. I'm just. I don't even like McConan that much, even though me he either. Was I could care less. Was, I think he's a good player. I just don't, I just don't care much about him. He was garbage on Schalke for me, but he was very balling, bad. He was balling on Juve. He was but, balling, though. but I still can't get over him. Like saying he never watches soccer. I was kind of bothered by that. And like, I'm like, dog, like, I don't like that. But he did ball on Juve. So I'm like, okay, like maybe you don't need to. I, I agree with your statement because we both feel a certain type of way about sports and being pro and professionals. Like I, I agree, like to take a next level, people don't talk like that really. Like they usually are very invested in every facet of the game because they want to be the best. It's um, kind of crazy. And like, maybe damn. going to Juve, he saw actual true ex exemplary. We know we know who was on that team and who was a constant changer of people's mindsets and physiques that we talked Bet about. Your Bet Rente. Bet core. Yeah, Betancourt is. Yeah, like people see, you know, they see how how um, they see uh, Ronaldo and talked about how your changed his workout program. All these people did. He's an inspiration to that. So one, one person, dog. I'm not going to go down the whole fucking list for you right now. Yeah, look, I need you to chill. I need you to chill. I All right, need good you episode. We made a podcast. We made a season. Twitch.tv. Follow your boy. I'm going to play some games this weekend, probably. Anyway, he's an ass wipe. Um, so, anyway, McConan, dog, you need to get it together. But I don't want to hear no thing about, like, oh, his issues. Because what's he? I don't know what that means. 
Well, they're need, always te- they're always down to tear down a black man. Yes, so. I need details. I need details because some of these coaches are dictators and they be just getting mad over anything. Um, but him breaking the COVID rules that was very bad, and you're putting people's lives at risk. So you were really tripping. But but Caesar, let's be real here. We do have some people with some questionable politics on that team. So maybe you got a lot of guys acting like COVID ain't real. I absolutely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? There's people that that on that team that have expressed support their, for their, January their, 6th uprising. Yeah. They so I mean express viewpoints that unfortunately deny deaths of people in this country. Yeah. So, so I don't even know like what, what to believe with that situation. That's why but, I said in the beginning, like I just thought what he did was dumb. I wasn't out here trying to like crack the guy online. Like these mm-hmm. guys are online, like ripping him and like getting quotes from Landon. I'm like, shut up. Like, just be like, it's unfortunate he made a mistake, but he'll be back next time. Just it is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna do this, like, uh, you know, destroy him in the media like they want to do because we know why. Like, chill. Yeah, like, yeah, because you're doing the same thing. I'm not but, doing that. Yeah, you are. But uh, anyway, we made a podcast episode 219. Um, we're not gonna get Caesar to pronounce it in Portuguese again. That was pretty bad. But Caesar Dugan got that Hawaii uh, uh, joint on. And also, Caesar, I did see a ticket to Hawaii for like 196 bucks or something like that. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it was 196. Um, I bought a ticket. Your boy is going in December, so let's go to to where New Year's to Hawaii. Damn, big gloaty on your boy right now. Shut Damn. up. Damn. Okay. Big gloaty on, the, on your big dog right here. I want to know when Bam gets his booster vax. Are we going Africa or what? We might need more. We're gonna need more than that. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I'm trying to go to Big Africa. Okay, we're gonna need more shots than that, big bruh. Right. You wanna go? Uh, you wanna go to Texas? I've been. It, it wasn't that. I mean, it ain't that crazy. But I do you see. Go see Caramo. Oh no, uh, <laughs> that was Philly, by the way. But uh, <laughs> did you finish yeah. all the real world? Did you do it? All the ones that are. I finished all the ones that are on Paramount Plus, except for the uh, first four. <laughs> um and i'm ashamed of myself oh, uh, shit be. that's like me watching the, the 2006 episode of big brother <clears throat> i did it too and i was proud of it i was screaming um but yeah i do see a ticket here 196 but um anyway we made a podcast episode 219 nice and short for you um uh, make sure your willy bobo is working if you're going to be out here doing all that wild stuff make sure your willy bobo work because you're out here making promises that you can't keep if your willy bobo doesn't work and just make sure you keep it real you dig or at least keep it uh, a stack you feel me holler holler